Welcome back to Montanta Stories 2. And I don't know how it is for you, but I'm going to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Because when this episode releases, it's going to be the 24th of December. And that is when we in Germany are celebrating Christmas. But yeah, have a wonderful Christmas, everyone. And yeah, I hope we will have this time around snow around Christmas. I'm pre-recording this episode, so... <laughs> yeah. Of course, for driving to my parents, it wouldn't be, like, nice. But, you know, White Christmas would be cool to have for once. Anyway, we have some very important thing to do. And this important thing is actually hunting Ener Gigante. So let's get right to it. Uh, map. Map, 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 map. Uh, I probably should go over quest. <laughs> uh, Terga Volcano Base. Of course, of course. Of course. Um, let's hope we do not need to take any cool drinks. And if we have to, I hope that we... Uh, Won't forget it. Jeez, last time we came to the crystal depth, we met the Nergiante. Let's hurry up and find those monster tracks. Do I have to go to the crystal depths? Again. Hmm. Apparently not for the tracks. Uh, where are you going? With these? Yes! And I see ores, which look suspicious. Yes, 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 yes. I have no idea if I have to go this way, but I'm going anyway. The scout lights are heading towards the water. Feel like getting your paws wet, buddy? Nope. Never. I hate getting my paws wet. Oh, what we got here? My whiskers are tingling, so we must be pretty close. This is not the water, though, but let's not complain, shall we? These ores look suspicious. Oof! Um, let's turn around. <laughs> so we are not getting backstabbed here. We can quick finish anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I do not want to <laughs> get backstabbed and uh, eat damage. So after the Snurgy Gante, we should be done? Question mark? I'm not really sure. Hmm, these ores look suspicious. So can I have a direction? Oh, we already have the land. Nice. Woof. <laughs> we avoided that ivory lag here, Chris. And we are beating... Uh, we are being greeted with Agnector. But... <clears throat> it definitely looks hot in here. So let's... Correctly use a cool mist before I forget about it. 
I don't know, have we fought an Agnector in high rank? I'm not sure, let's... let's see... I mean, worst case, we can... we can leave. Or quick finish. Quick finish is, of course, the better version, but... I'm a little bit scared of Nergigante, but... Also, I don't know if I should have a look here. Oh, there are chests. There are a lot of chests. Oh, yep. Let's go this way. I've been recently streaming to Keen Kiwami. That was, by the way, the game I was waiting for and which was a little bit late. And I am having a blast. I really have. And anyone with access to that game, I can actually, like, so far recommend it and just say like give it a try if you have access to it and also like not paying too much money for it because i gotta say when i was looking for it it was on steam very very expensive i mean the game is from i think 2015 I don't know when it came to Steam though, but um, yeah, definitely quite old by now. I mean, we are nearly in 2022 now, which is crazy if you ask me. Uh, let's let's go the way we came. So I don't have to. Switch monsters. But yeah, so far I've tried three weapons. The Kusarigama. I'm... I'm calling it like that because it definitely is one. But in the game, is it called Sickle and Chain or something? I have, I have troubles with memorizing that, to be honest. And uh, yeah, th those are actually cool. But I actually found myself liking the dual blades, which are called, I think, knives in the game, a lot more. And... Where the F am I going? I just want the stupid chest. <laughs> yeah, it gets done. Um... But yeah, I do like uh, the dual blades a lot, but I recently also tried the Naginata, which is uh, not so common weapon in games, I'd say. And I was surprised to see that one together with the spear being in the game, because to me they look kind of similar. I don't know how the spear plays, but yeah, I guess they will differ. But yeah, the Naginata is also really, really nice. Funnily enough, the dual blades remind me of Insect Glaive because you can do a lot of aerial stuff and if you do your combo correctly, so to say, you actually have the chance to stay in the air forever. So for me, it feels like Insect Glaive in that regard. But yeah. I, I think because it's so much aerial, I like it that much. I think we haven't fought high rank wisps yet. So let's let's uh, like thunderbugs. Oh, never mind. We did. We did. <laughs> so yeah, dual blades or knives are really really neat. 
And why I like the Naginata is um, you're getting rewarded for playing really aggressive and not getting damaged. You have a parry you can use. And if you're getting enough hits in without getting hit yourself, you can do some really serious uh, slashing. <laughs> hmm. But I think this might be new, so let's take it. Let's take it on. No, the shrouded Nacilla isn't, but the Conchu Greens are. Okay, I did not expect that, but Hellboy, let's uh, get you out here and uh, let's hopefully be able to do your... Watching bleed, nice. Maybe that's enough. Would be lovely, but we never know. It's not enough. No. Okay, you are taking that one, I take that one, and we hopefully have them done. Nice. But we cannot do quick kill. I'm sad. When I quick finish. Yeah, it, it, um, the, the Naginata feels really, really nice. So, let's get the tech monster out, shall we? Yeah, since I got uh, the game, luckily, for um, 10 euros, it was definitely, so far I would say it is definitely worth that money. And I'm happy I got it uh, used for that price. But yeah, if you're not that fortunate, I'm not sure if I can or should recommend it, so to say. But yeah. Hmm. Can you... Yeah, this, this is actually... Actually fine. Let's, let's go for the middle. Get some break-offs here. Also, I'm sorry if you are not interested in this kind of information, but yeah, since I'm really into it and I'm... Oh, it, it removed its uh, aggro status. Well, aggro is back. Let's heal poor Stuji. Even though Hellboy looks way worse, but yeah, we are going to heal him afterwards. Definitely I'm going to upload the streams to that game, so if you're interested in that, you can have a look. It's going to take a while though until it's uh, going to be available on YouTube because I have other stuff I'm going to upload first stream-wise. But just so you know... Also, I gotta get again into, like, uh, Monster Hunter Rise. <clears throat> there is still some time... Uh, to... Ooh. Yes, until, like, Sunbreak drops. But... It seems like there are some event quests I probably should do, and I want to do some more farming and stuff. 
And when the game drops on my birthday, by the way, <laughs> on Steam, um, it could probably be nice to get a little bit back into it. There it is, in a Gigante. I should heal Hellboy. <laughs> I just remembered. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, we could. Well, we. I think we can. We can go in with our Diablos here. This place has real bad vibes. You know, gigantic sized bad vibes. Rem you ready? Remember, I'll be with you no matter what. Well, that is reassuring or something like that. Okay, let's not get back attacked from their Gigante. That would be a very bad idea. Technical? You kidding me? Ouch! Alright, Hellboy. Your time to shine. I guess. So yeah, I want to like... Um, Play some rise again, but maybe just on stream and not like uploading stuff. And Monsty! Oh, but oh, spike screw. Ooh. 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 <laughs> so, oh, wait. Are you going to do power now? I mean, it could also go speed, but... No power. Good. Instantly apart broken. Ow. Ouch. Oh. I'm sad. Why you're doing random sweep? Okay, we... On the other hand, it also feels nice because maybe we are getting some poison on him. But still, what do I do? Healing Mizu seems like a bad idea. Because I'm going to get full damage. Maybe just use a skill so we could potentially change weapons. Heart broken! And we got the poison. Hey, that was not uh, bad, but he's taking twice! Ah, Hachi. And of course, you're attacking me. Um, since you still have your legs available, you should still go power attack, right? I hate this. I'm going to lose a second heart. But I probably will lose a second heart either way. Maybe not. Maybe not. I will try it out. Let's use an ancient potion on me and see if... Uh, we will survive an attack. Okay, we survived one. And are you now attacking Mizu? Nice. Oh, it's mad. That is not. That is not nice. And Mizu going for Aqua Blaster. Oh, which which should be actually nice. That should be what we need, right? But maybe we're. Oh no no no! If if we if I'm reading it correctly, and he's going now speed, then I mean it's the only attack 
which is kind of left to do. Then we would get only one attack if he attacks twice. Let's see. All right, speed it is. We broke the part. Oh, and we topple it. Great. All right, all right. Hmm. Twenty. I I don't like this. I think I'm going to attack normally. And maybe I should keep hammer even though it's not effective. And inflict with poison again. Okay, it should be back to technical. We do have now a kinship attack available. But since we are back... Oh, we also have, hmm, we also have one available with Hellboy. That is actually nice. So these two are kind of done. But yeah, I, I think he, will, he, he should be back to... How, um, um, that we need power. Maybe see if... Uh, Tiostra can do something, even though Tiostra has not like the best death. But I feel like it would be neat to have like more full kinships available if you like get my drift. And yeah, back to technical. Nice. Oh, and we are halfway. Lovely. Nice. So we do have a kinship now with Chostra too. That is very good. Very, very good. We have three kinships available. That should be quite some nice damage. And now we're getting in dangerous territory. Um, yeah, I think I want to heal Mizu. And myself and use Mizu's kinship. We should have a few turns to give Mizu some kinship back. Yeah. Let's do that. But Nergigant attacking twice like this is definitely annoying and not good, so. Let's make use of this and break that part quickly. And the next one too! Ouch! Why you hurt so much? And Mizu, why you not do... Speed. Okay, let's hope we can break the legs also with one attack. That would be... Lovely. Ah, of course not. Sorry, Mizu. Oh, he's exhausted. Okay, I actually think, even though it will cost quite some kinship, I think doing this is like the best idea to topple him again. Nice. It definitely was. I'm not going to switch monster, but I'm going to switch to our great art. Yeah, it doesn't matter which uh, which kind I'm taking. That does a little bit more damage. There we go. We killed him with Mizu's trap. <laughs> Lovely. Halon, a lot of those, sadly. A horn and other dragon blood and another horn. Which is sad. This is probably not even enough to like craft a hiring version of, of, uh, of the weapon. Well, we are alive. I mean, I knew all along you could pull this off. Let's go tell Lilia all about that epic battle. 
I wonder if... Like... We haven't fought against, like, Orochi Kirin, I think, in this quest line. So there would be still at least that Elder Dragon left to do. But I don't know if Lilia would, like, give it to us. What the fuck? Just give me an egg. Oh. I just take it. Let's take that, uh... Trouden Rosilla with us. And let's go! Hey! You little... Also, I don't know why I went outside of the dungeon instead of just going back normally. Like, just teleporting. Um, dum, dum. Wrong button. Let's go back to Lelouchon and tell Lilia. I'm on my way! I mean, we know the Nagiganti stuff, but like how it looks like. But I kind of want to know about the skills of the armor. That would be probably need. Let's have a look after this if I'm not forgetting. Welcome back if you happen to find the Nagiganti then. Oh yeah. I did. I knew the Nagigantis den was located somewhere in Turgor. Thank you for all your hard work. I'll put out a Scrivener's request for riders everywhere to help us investigate the Nagigantis den you found. Like, come on! If she's putting out a Scrivener's request for riders everywhere to help us, I'm a rider too, so let me help again, you know? But maybe that's, like, I, I'm not sure. I mean, we, we looked at the multiplayer part, but yeah. Thanks to you and Rather, we were able to subdue Ultura. You'd be doing us a big favor helping out with our Scrivener investigations. I'll let you know if anything comes up. Okay, so we are done for now with her. But it does sound like there might be more at some point. I don't know. But let's have a look at the armor because I'm curious what the skills are. Also, I don't think I can craft anything, but yeah. Mm. Fucking hell, the Grimclaw armor looks freaking amazing. Sorry. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, where is... Oh, I'm on it, actually. A vicious XL, non-elemental attack boost L, and all-out M. Elemental attack, spends more kinship charge to unleash skills at full power. I'm not sure I like that. I don't like spending more kinship. And I also feel like I'm not using skills enough to make a proper use of it. Oh gosh, I also love Volcano's armor. It looks different from what I'm used um, in Iceborne. 
but it is still definitely cool. Oh, no, I didn't mean to craft anything. Let's see. Yeah, like, this is such a damage boost. But to be fair, to be fair, I'm having still a blue rarity weapon and not a red one. But let's see. Yep. I would like... I would really like to keep, I think... The Nerd Gigante Hammer? But I don't know... Do I want to have an element on it? I mean... This is also cool. I don't like that the skill is Blast Fire Chaser though, because... Yeah. This one makes more sense in that regard, because it actually does Blast Blight. So Blast Fire Chaser is actually having a chance to be activated in this case you have to like combine it with a different weapon i guess or like a specific monster to get the result we could craft it let's go right i think so i'm unsure but Let's, yeah, let's just do it. And exchange it. Woohoo! Okay. This one has seems to have quite some power. This one too. I really do like my current weapon, like my current great part. But uh, also, why does the obl obliterations uh, footfall also have blast fire chaser? <laughs> Ah, uh, well. We would be able to craft it. Yeah, let's, let's get the wing there of it. Everything is so expensive, but to be honest, we have or had over 3 million, so it should be fine. Using and power coating. Rapid fire poison coating. Oh, blast blight. Using power coating, is this like the only thing like rapid? Oh no, spread. Okay, spread we have also. Volcano bow also looks nice, but to be fair, we cannot. We cannot do that. This is bold reaver. Rapid fire and power coating. Not the worst. I mean, these look definitely also neat. Let's see, do we find any... Yep. 
Lol. I think I have never taken a look <laughs> at like this bow. Holy. Read your bow, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy. I mean, in general, I'm not sure. Like, okay, Mizu bow. Kind of neat. But yeah, I don't know what I really want. Like, do I want a bow? I like this somehow. Also, Edelweiss is a really cool name. Or if I, like, want a gun lens. Gun lens is kind of cool. But you have, like, additional defense. And... You basically can have a lot of kinship recovery. But it is not always good because in some cases against some monsters you're not getting your skills like usable in a head to head. So you're not making really use of it. Also the Kuropeko lands. <laughs> oh lovely. I think I I kind of want to go back to bow. But also I I'm unsure. Could we craft it? No. So I guess it already like <laughs> Explain that. Maybe having a non-elemental bow? I mean, this looks freaking sick. Can we craft it? Yes. We can. Upgrading is a different story. And it's a freaking molten Tyrex, which was definitely not an easy task. But well... <laughs> Let's do it. I'm too lazy to use now this um, ticket to make it easier. Like, not easier, but cheaper. Alright. We finally have gotten ourselves some new weapons. We are now finally stacked with completely red equipment isn't this awesome yeah it is right okay it took me quite a while but we finally managed i am unsure if like um yeah we definitely need to upgrade these things and i hope we will find a way to do so Oh. Apparently, I still had a quest taken to defeat a Brachidius. Oh, that one is done. Hey, we got another luminous stomach. I think we were on one before. So hey, that's also good. But yeah, we definitely do not have the high rank... Elder Dragons here. The Nergigante did not count for this? Okay, game. Okay. So yeah, we do have Gold Raytheon and Silver Rathalos. Which I definitely want to tackle. 
But I'm really thinking if there would be like... Um... Maybe? Fate at Forden! So basically we have the water eggs, ice eggs, whatnot. Wonderful! Not... Rare slash subspecies then? I am so not sure. I mean, these are straightforward. This two, this two. So I guess I have to do this one and freaking hope that I'm uh, getting the other dragon I want. Is that how it's supposed to be? I guess. Really unsure about that, but well, what can you do? <clears throat> Also, I guess I need gold for that, and silver won't be enough. What do I have to like? Oh, I... Expedition ticket required. Yeah, but which expedition ticket? Ah, uh, well, I guess I'm going to find out at some point. Anyway, I'm dragging this out for longer than I wanted to, and yeah. But who? I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. We do have new equipment and stuff. I want to upgrade it, but uh -huh. anyway, I hope you did enjoy this episode. And as I said at the start, have a wonderful Christmas, or let's say Christmas season. Hope you are. Having a wonderful time with friends and family. And also are staying healthy. <laughs> Alright. Let's see you in the next episode, shall we? Until then, have a good one. And bye bye.